Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, in this uh, video, I will show you a demo for um, uh, the implementation of a long-running async integration, and we will focus on the building blocks uh, on a specific building block for the um, implementation of this kind of solution. Uh, so let's see the context. The context is uh, where you have the need to orchestrate some batch processes, and uh, you wanted to understand uh, so to, to implement a long running approach. So because batch processes are running for a while and you uh, needed to check their statuses and uh, to, to decide when to progress on the execution of other batch processes that are could be dependent on, on, the, on the one that you are uh, uh, currently executing. And this can be done in multiple ways. Uh, let's see, uh, this can be done with OIC. OIC can, uh, can uh, implement a specific integration flow the, that will uh, run a batch process, then we'll check the execution of that batch process. And this should be done with a scheduled execution of the same uh, um, integration logic. And uh, so some status must be uh, uh, saved into a persistent store about the OIC instance and about the execution status of the different IDs of the batch batch processes that has been, uh, have been run. Uh, the second uh, way to, to implement this, and this is the focus of this demo, is uh, to uh, implement it through Oracle Process Automation or OIC and OIC. And so having process automation to implement uh, as, a, as a process uh, that um, uh, controls uh, the execution and, uh, and implement some kind of uh, loops into the control of the execution of the best proce batch processes, delegating to a sub-process the interaction with the underlying um, 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 integrations uh, which are uh, getting the status of the batch processes. So the um, uh, the approach of the OPA OIC based solution is that the OPA OPA will implement the long running process execution. Uh, so there is uh, OIC doing the mediation to the batch processes. And so this, there is the underlying uh, batch process, like uh, an ODI process or any, any other kind of custom batch processes uh, to which, uh, through which OIC is uh, uh, interacting, uh, getting uh, the status of this process in some way through APIs, which is the simplest way or with uh, uh, other ways if there is a very um, custom and the legacy uh, process, so there could be a need to get the status from the uh, specific process uh, uh, database uh, tables and so on. Um, so the implementation <coughs> will be, sorry, will be based on the process which simply continues to, to, to check the control of the overall execution of the patch process and uh, delegates uh, to a sub-process uh, the, uh, the um, uh, control of the and uh, the retrieval of the status of the uh, batch processes of the underlying batch, batch processes, and uh, so uh, we will see this solution during uh, during the demo, which is made uh, mainly uh, about the process which is sending, uh, calling a sub process, and uh, and waiting on a, a in an async way for the sub process to um, to uh, to give back the result of the batch uh, process. The sub process is uh, having a start event waiting for a bit and then calling uh, the OIC, which is getting uh, the batch process uh, status. Uh, so uh, the implementation so is made about these uh, kind of assets. So uh, what is uh, worth to, to be said here is that in this implementation, uh, which is implementing just this bu building block, uh, OIC is acting uh, uh, together as a mediator for the interaction of the uh, batch process itself and also uh, for uh, the execution of the batch process, which in this case is creating a service organization and then is retrieving back the completion status of this service organization. Uh, so let's go uh, to see uh, the um, implementation. Uh, so this is um, uh, the um, Oracle Process Automation application that contains uh, uh, the process and the sub-process. Let's see the process. As we said, this process is uh, implementing this kind of loop and um, is starting from a form event and then is sending, the, uh, um, is uh, uh, calling a sub-process uh, through its start event. Then this is an async call and then is waiting on the received task for the sub process to return back uh, this kind of information. So the organization name, the organization ID, the status. And also what is setting is uh, the correlation key 
Uh, it is initializing from the organization name given from the start event here, and then is uh, the correlation name, uh, the key is uh, the organization name uh, which is managed into the, this process, and the organization name uh, which is uh, returned back from the sub process. And then here, uh, the process is checking on this exclusive gateway if uh, the uh, process status, which is re uh, returned back from the sub process, is completed, then is um, is um, uh, completing the com uh, the the process. Otherwise, is looping uh, to uh, to check again uh, for the uh, completion status of the uh, batch process, which is uh, mediated by the sub process and the OIC underlying process. Let's see the implementation of the, the sub process, which is very simple. Uh, so is, it is starting with the start event. Is it is implementing a timer here, uh, which is waiting for one minute, and then is calling an under an underlying uh, OIC process, which is this uh, specific uh, create service organization process uh, through a post action, and then is uh, um, when this service is uh, uh, giving back these. Uh, uh, the, the information, this information is, uh, so from the output of the process, you see organization name, uh, organization ID and status, then is, it is giving back, uh, the, um, uh, uh, this information to the, um, uh, caller process, uh, through, uh, calling the receive task of the caller process. And um, okay, let's see a bit more of the anatomy of this uh, um, process, uh, which is uh, there is the definition of the integration uh, process to be to be called, uh, which is exactly this integration process uh, in which you see on the first shot, it will create the service organization if it does not exist. Otherwise, we'll uh, continue to uh, to check the status of the service organization, the status of the service organization when the service organization is created as a unique name. And then the status is provided by this flex field um that uh, the beginning will be uh will be will have a new, null value and uh, so let's go back to the process application and so the process application has also a ui uh, this ui is uh, the way to start the process with the organization name and another variable uh, which could influence the behavior of the process like the number of loops that could be uh, defined uh, which is will not show we will not show during this demo um, there is a process user which is not used uh, here and obviously there is a data type uh, which is exactly uh, the uh, set of information given back from the the batch process mediated from OIC and from the sub process that we have seen here and so uh, it's just now a matter to uh, to run uh, to check the run of this process um and so we can view the activated versions and uh, we are working now on version uh, 1.1 and so we can test it in the workspace and so in the workspace uh, we uh, we have this version 1.1 of this of my process we can give organization name uh, demo execution two in example number of loops uh, will be zero right now so will be infinite for the behavior of this process and let's just submit this process and so what happens is that if i open now the uh, tracking of the process we see uh, that the process has started but we can go on a more detailed uh, tracking here we see that the process has started and also it has started the execution of the sub process you see here uh, the previous execution I have made before uh, recording this demo of another instance of this uh, uh, this process, um, we um, we see we can go uh, we can just wait a bit and so I will uh, stop uh, this uh, uh, recording for a while just to to wait for some minutes and to see the different loops of uh, this execution. So after a while, uh, we see that uh, we uh, the progress of the execution of this uh, um, process and sub process uh, framework. And so uh, we see that uh, uh, we have uh, uh, still the process which is running and we have uh, of four complete execution of the sub process. And then there is the fifth execution that now is running. And so uh, what we can do 
uh, we can also go to the analytics, which is very helpful. And we can focus on our uh, process version 1.1 here, in example, and we can look uh, this process execution exactly uh, here some uh, aggregated values and we can jump into the process we see that uh, while we were accessing these analytics uh, we had a fifth execution of the sub process and so we have also um, one which is running which is in progress c six which are new uh, the, the uh, only execution of the um, process uh, and so which is uh, still running and so what we can do we can view the process details here and we can see exactly uh, the representation the graphical representation of the tracking of the process in which we have the send task and so uh, five times we have executed the uh, the execution of the sub process on uh, from from the process level and so we are waiting on the, uh, for uh, now on uh, uh, on the receive task and we are waiting for the execution of the sixth uh, um, um, sixth uh, um, uh, specific instance of the sub process and so what we can do now we can go to look in into the underlying table uh, representing the status of the batch process and we can see that the, the value of the flex field uh, which is uh, uh, representing the status is uh, um, uh, is still null, and so uh, what we do, we can do, we can set it to, to complete it, and so we can commit it, and so uh, based on this, uh, what will happen is that uh, OIC uh, will uh, uh, on uh, the next run will uh, will uh, get this completed status from uh, uh, these. Uh, uh, emulation of the batch process and so the process will be completed just wait let's wait a bit uh, i will stop this recording for a, a while just to see the completion status of the process okay now we have uh, waited for uh, one minute more which was just enough to see the completion of the um, process and uh, the completion of the last instance of the sub process and so we can go back on the analytics and we can focus again in our uh, 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 sub process here in our process here and uh, the version 1.1 and so we see that uh, we have now reached the end event so uh, this is exactly seven loops that we had so far and this is the completion of our framework for building uh, long running async integrations as a building block. Uh, so um, this is the end of this uh, demo and this presentation and thank you so much for your attention. <music>